to down here today. An absolutely spectacular venue and an incredible golf course. I've really turned it on today. You thought you'd lost your ball two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wit woo. Very nice. Be honest now. You should go on tour. Yeah. You know what I want? I'm not going to do this, but you know what I want to do? Exactly, Foster. All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Break 75. I'm down here today at The Grove, an absolutely spectacular venue and an incredible golf course. We got lucky today because Ladies Rose here has actually been out this morning and played the golf course. So as you can see, it's in immaculate condition. We're kicking things off on the back nine. We're starting on 10 and then we're going to loop our way around and obviously play all 18 holes. We've been on the range. Me and Guy are playing today. We've warmed up, we've loosened, we've been fed and watered and we're ready to go. I'm excited about this one. I feel like last week, I wasn't quite sure which way the golf was gonna go. It actually was surprisingly good. This week, um, I'm weirdly not as hopeful. This is a tough golf course, it's hard, it's demanded. The greens are lightning, there's trees, there's hazards, there's lots going on. However, I'm gonna do my best to try and break 75. Guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, I have played this golf course probably three or four times. Yeah. You've never played this yet, have you? Never. And look at this, I've come prepared because I'm not feeling very confident. I've, uh, <laughs> I've got one, two, three, four, basically about a dozen golf balls, which I might get used today, but I'm feeling inspired. I'm going with one. One golf ball and that's it. If I can play 18 holes with this one golf ball, you have to buy me a gift. Okay, I'll buy you a pint. Pint. You can play this round with one golf ball. Uh, it's a spectacular course, I've just been telling everyone. Um, it, it really is, it's hosted some huge events as well. Yep. Dell, Dell World Match Play. Tiger Woods won that event. Correct. And there's actually a hole, I'm trying to work out now, I think it'll be on our front nine, so it's towards the end of the, the normal back, uh, 18 holes. Tiger played it four times, he eagled it, three times and the other round he birded it. There's actually plaques in the fairway where he hit his driver shots. My mission today, if nothing else, well it's break 80, but birded that hole. Today we're playing off a fairly bad tee, nearly 7,000 yards, par 72. Um, good luck mate, enjoy. I'm gonna be serious today. Last week was a good, good day, it was fun. This week it's about good golf. I'm gonna be super serious, maybe beat Rick Shields. Side note. My legs are still hurting. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. I know it's a few weeks after the marathon, but my legs are still really bad. Right, this is never driver off this hole. If it's 10th hole normally, you're hitting a little three wood squeezy one, but you've played nine holes, you're warmed up. Opening tee shot of the day, it's the big stick every day of the week. Dog leg left, par four, 380 yards. You just want to hit it between that gap of the trees with a tiny little baby draw. That's what do we're going to try and do. Enjoy. Yeah, play well. Oh, that's delicious. That is delicious. How are your legs? <laughs> They're really still aching quite a lot. I don't know if you heard Great them. Great shot. They were aching and creaking. I felt nice. That was the middle of the club face. Oh, nice. Chilled, relaxed. I'm excited about this one. I'll take it all back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go course record. <laughs> I don't want to say it, am I? Play that idea. That's that. a bat missing the tree. It's how we draw. Oh, oh what did that do? It hit that massive tree. Did it bounce badly? I didn't see it down. Oh. Matter? Fine. Plenty more holes to go. Plenty more, plenty more holes, plenty more shots. And uh, yeah, I've got a giddy feeling about this one. I really have. Now, just to kick things off, this is the first tee. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I hope there's good stuff in here. It's a bin. No, it's not. Oh, hello. So we're going to kick things off. I think I need a front nine ball marker and a back nine ball marker. Correct, you should lose one. I, I reckon I need at least a Grove pencil, a few extra tees, and then check out. This. Look at that. Oh my days. That is premium. That is class. Well. What well, a turn up for the books. We walk around the corner and there's a ball absolutely perfect in the middle of the fairway. And I'm walking up there all cocky and confident thinking it was mine. 
couldn't find guys. I was like, let me just check if that's definitely mine. It's not, it was guys. I'm here in the rough. I didn't turn it around the corner enough. Guy with his little toey hook gets it there. Right, anyway, I've pulled an absolute awful lie in this rough. <laughs> Pins tucked behind that bunker. I'm just gonna go pin high, middle of the green, try and feed it through those two bunkers. That lie was so bad. Yeah, it's not a bad effort, that. It was really thick and sat down then. Ah, I needed to hit that droppy, drawy hook. Never mind. Front edge. Happy with that, really. It was a bit lucky. I hit a toad tee shot, it drew, hit the tree, middle of the fairway. So I'm in position A1, really. So I need to capitalise 93 yards to the flag. Let's hit a nice 54 degree sand iron. Strike. Oh wow, those, those greens spin. Oh my days. Wit woo. Very nice. I've really turned it on today. <laughs> you thought you'd lost your ball two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> he was panicking, thinking he'd lost it after his t shirt, and now he's turned it on. <laughs> very good, very good. Right, so managed to navigate between the two bunkers just off the green. Honestly, greens here, we've just been on the putting green before. Absolutely pristine. No excuses today. The only excuse is they might be just a bit too fast, but should be fine, right? Two put from here, start with a par. Speed is key, not much slope in it. Really weak. Thought it was going to be fast all the way and it just wasn't at all. Right, guy, with an opportunity. Last week's episode, I managed to start off with a nice little two at SN8. Little birdie sauce early doors. Can Guy start with some birdie sauce early doors? No. Nope. Settle down. Um, you, you went I, for it. I went for it and I got punished. Not the start I wanted a 12 foot par put, but if I can knock it in, nice confidence boost, early doors, right to left, slightly uphill. Yes. Easiest way of making a par. Yep. <laughs> nice putt, my friend. Thanks, pal. Now my little That's three, nice four confidence. footers got a lot longer. Well done, mate. Well done. I was nervous for you then, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Level par through one. See how long this continues. Four. 17 more holes to go. Ideal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome back, Carl. <laughs> Second hole, 11th on the scorecard. Um, it's a par five, slight dog leg left. Now, I'll be honest, that gap shouldn't. Be that menacing, but no, it is though, isn't it? It's quite, yeah. <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're a straight papa these days, so come on. So just over the corner, <laughs> over that bunker. Just feels like it's got to be straight, yeah, because it kind of moves left after that. Okay. What are you drawing it off? I'm it? just going to go straight over that bunker. Love it. The aggressive line should be fine. That could end up being weirdly perfect, you know. I'm surprised if it is. That is, it's a weird tee shot that. It's it's a bit, nice, you've got to kind of like guide it a little bit. Those trees are quite daunting, aren't they? It is. It? Yeah. I, feel like I'm taking, I feel like I'm taking a penalty at Wembley. Yeah, great ball. Like, you absolutely shouldn't hit the trees. Carry the bunker. That was prime position. Thank well done, you. mate. Yeah, that is very, uh, just a little, if you get one slinging, a bit of a toey draw, or those trees could definitely come into play, but not for us, not for us seasoned pros. Okay, so I've hit my 
tee shot a bit too far left. I wasn't, I didn't mean to. I thought I might have got lucky and ran out into the fairway, but I definitely haven't. Guys hit two great tee shots. That was actually on purpose, that one as well. So he's in a good spot now. So par five, I can't go for it because I must be, I'm 250 from that tree. So I want to leave myself about 100, about 90 yards left in. So I'm going to hit like a little, probably like a nine iron down there. Just put myself in the middle of the fairway is the plan. Pins back left. Just had a quick look at that. See if I can hit nine iron into position A, wedge it on. So there's still a chance of making birdie. Should be good. I like that when Rick hits one, maybe in not the best position, and then takes some medicine. Good, good to see. Boring. Anyway, I am going to go for it because I've hit the middle of the fairway. I've got 238 left into the flags, three wood, I think. A um, couple of bunkers around the green, fed up one of them. Not the end of the world. First eagle at the Grove, let's go for it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Be good. That's got to be, if it's on the green, that's got to be all over it. I think it might have been short. I, I didn't see it down properly. For a second, my stomach was going like it was going to be a hole in one. Obviously, it wouldn't have been a hole in one, it would have been Albatross, but oh my days. That was a good golf shot. I'm a bit annoyed myself. No, you know what? That's not correct. I'm not annoyed myself. I'm annoyed with the ground because it was too hard and the ball ran through into this little first cut of rough, as Guy mentioned. 108 yards to the back left flag. We've got 50 degree in hand. I feel like it's a little 90 degree, sorry, 90%. 50 degree wedge should be perfect. Get down. I mean, all the spin got taken off at you, right? Yeah, not too bad. Putting from there. Wasn't a million miles away. Oh, it's come out clean. No, spin hard. Ah, oh, that was a bad golf shot. So both in similar spots now. Two different ways of playing the hole, but two opportunities for birdie here. Just off the back of the green, big slope, right to left. It's going to be slick. I need to give it plenty of respect. Come on, sling. Go. Oh, I thought it was going to be a lot quicker than that. Yeah, it's a bit meh, that. I thought it was bit. going to be a lot quicker. This is either a great decision or a stupid one. Whereas Rick's put in his, I'm going for the 58 wedge. A skilled kind of, player. Well, yeah. <laughs> kind of back foot, hands forward, just nudge it forward, land it on and just feed it round. Potentially thin it into the bunker in the back, which would be good viewing. Potentially hole it, which would be good viewing. Or potentially fast it, which would be good viewing. So either way, should be good, good content. Chip it in. Yeah, pretty good, mate. Very Decent good. viewing. Right, for par, after a very adventurous hole, slippery one, down the hill again, still right to left. Got to keep it outside the hole and it snap back in. Yeah, side door smash. Yeah. Not quite pretty yet, but <laughs> two pars on the scorecard. These, I just want to say, even before I've hit this putt, these greens are phenomenal, aren't they? Fair outrageous. play to the Grove. They've done a really good job on these greens. They're absolutely phenomenal. Did you say that pre-putt, just in case you missed it? I thought it's like say? good to the golfing gods. If we compliment the course, repair on the pitch marks, fix on the divots, and be nice to the course, then the course would be nice to me. Like Lesson it. for you, that. Okay, third hole, par four. It's a really nice hole, this. It requires a great tee shot, kind of fading off that bunker that you can see in the vision. And it kind of tunnels into a really good green from memory. I'll do just double check this, because I don't want to get my facts wrong. Yeah, there's a huge bunker. It's actually a rectangular shaped green, like quite literally rectangular shaped. It's a huge bunker down the right hand side of the green. So, good tee shot required. 433 yards, so it's no shorty. Clear that bunker, clear that bunker, clear that bunker. Oh, that should be all right now. I'm gonna swap golf ball, because I don't know, that must be that bunker shot. Does that make actually any difference to the golf ball, do you reckon? Must Absolutely. 
tour pros wouldn't use that. And also, you normally do retire a golf ball when you've made two pars in a row. So, <laughs> correct. Let <laughs> allow me. I'll put it in your special yeah. par pocket. So, yeah, put it in the par pocket. There's no other balls in there. <laughs> it's just that one there. Now I've got to this number two. So I wonder what that'll happen now. I've gone from a one to a two. Dangerous. It's either going to, let's be honest, this hole's going to be a bird or a bogey. It's not going to be a par. Yeah, correct. <laughs> oh, it was struck so well, but pulled it. Just missed that bunk on the left, though. Yeah, it's OK. It's yeah, not it's ideal. It'd be a quite thick rough, that, but. OK, second shot into our third hole here. I cleared the bunker, but I actually was hoping I'd get a little kick down onto the fairway, but I don't think it's meant to be today. <laughs> if I hit a fairway, I'll be delighted. 180 yards, back into wind. This is the one, honestly, right is just not an option. Pin is on the right side of the green, of course it is. So I've kind of got to go at the green and draw it off it, or just stay left of the flag. No, not right. I said anywhere but right. Get lucky. Oh, it's massive. That has gone a country mile. <laughs> I don't know if I've had a fly out that rough, but that's over the green and far away. So I've got my ball probably about three yards off the fairway, and quite a weird shot here. I'm going to ask Rick for his advice because I've got 165 yards to the flag. So the first thought is in this kind of rough ball blow my feet, do I just chip out a pitching wedge, maybe 60, 70 yards? leave myself 100 yards or 90 yards in for a real chance at, you know, to pitch one close? Or do I just try and smash a seven iron and just get as close up to the green as possible? Maybe go in the bunker, who knows, but just get something up there. I brought in your favourite PGA golf coach, <laughs> Rick Shields, to help me. The, the know lie it's looked not that worse. Bad. When you get in, you can see it yeah. there. You're looking for grass behind the ball, obviously, and how sat down it is. The ball's, obviously, the ball's quite a bit below your feet. So it's going to go right, or it's one going to want to move to the right. I mean, I, I would go for it every day of the week, <sighs> including Christmas Day. OK. Yes, Guy. That's a great golf shot. Oh, what a kick! Oh, oh come what on! What a kick! Go in! <laughs> I want to thank Rick Shields for the, for the tips and, and you guys for watching. Be on this lovely day with me. Right, so after my fly of life in the rough there, I've actually, to be honest, I would have just been at the back of the green. I've got past the bunker, so I don't have to go super elevated. So a nice little... Nice little 50 degree little chip and run down there. Land it just on the fringe and run it down. Hit the hole, hit the hole. Oh! Ho -ho! It's pacey. It's a well played. But an inch left and that might have just dropped. Come on then, guy, after miracle at the Grove. No, oh, it just always has fallen away. Wow, okay, mate. Take Continue the power run. Yeah. You'll be retiring another ball in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so left to right, up the hill. Come on, throws another good par save. Come on. Oh, it just fell away again. Just pace, wasn't it? If that had the right pace, yeah, that would have back. stayed on line. Never mind. Never mind. Right. I'm one over. Guys, level. Par three coming up next. Our fourth hole, which is actually hole 13. It's a gorgeous par three down the hill. 202 on the scorecard. With a little bit of elevation change, probably playing just under 190. And we can't work out if it's a six iron or a five iron. I've got six iron in hand and I've got the honour. So I feel a bit at a disadvantage because you're going to learn massively from whatever I do. And that's why I made bogey on the last. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Come on there, guy. I mean, I must admit, that whole location is right up my street. Yeah, it is. A little high draw into that pin. Are you thinking six or five, initially? My hand is fully on six. OK, so whatever I do is your destiny. Yeah. OK. I think it is a good six iron. Well, you've hit that really well, so that's going to give me a great indication. That looks fantastic. Guys, guys Flushington today. That's weird, isn't it? Because it's like... A quarter of a club, not enough. Did you absolutely rip it? Yeah, I did. I think I can just about get a five yards extra in my iron. So it's a nice six. I up my ball, a little turn over a fraction. Do, do I want to just slice it down a fraction? I think I do. Okay. Little low, little low drawy one. 
pitch it right over the top of your ball and just let the contours bring it down. It's in all the right things. I feel like the wind's just picked up. That could be... That's right. going to be on top of my ball, I think. Get up a bit, I feel. Yeah, it needs to go. Nice layup. <laughs> <laughs> really good layup there on that par three. Oh my God. That's like 20 yards short. <laughs> okay, after laying up on this par three, <laughs> that was a real misjudgment there. I needed five iron and probably all of the five iron. The wind definitely just picked up a fraction. Uh, I'm going to go with wedge and I'm going to try and flight it majority of the way. Is that quite downhill from where you are now? Yes, it's all really downhill, like ridiculously. As in I can land this on the green or not? No, I wouldn't with imagine. So. I wouldn't think so, really, unless you're very, very lofted. Just bear with me, let me have a quick check. One eternity later. Okay, so just had a quick investigation. I'm gonna, I feel confident I can land it on the green and get it to stop. I've got 60 degree in hand. I missed my spot by about 10 yards. <laughs> I actually meant to land that on the front of the green. <laughs> I landed it. I nearly slam dunked it straight in. <laughs> That's fast, wow. That was fast. I thought that was really close, but a bit of meat left on that. How did it break? Way off to the left. I find him really hard today, I can't see him. Okay, down the hill. Guy was down the hill and I'm even down the hill because this hole's just in a bit of a bowl. Left to right, pretty much all the way. Not hit. Oh my God, really not hit. I thought it was going to be rapid. Yeah, solid. Thank you. Solid as a rock. Retire that ball. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> it's in. It's all nice. Fifth hole, part four. Beautiful little hole. Just came over that really cool little bridge, actually. I believe on this, year, this golf course this year, September, it's his 20th birthday. So. Happy 20th birthday, the Grove. Um, this is a really nice hole there. Position is needed off the tee. It's not long, it's only 375 off this tee. Um, really got to keep it in the fairway and it's just a little flick into the green. There is a, almost like it's not a ditch, but it's almost like the fairway does run out into rough oh. and then it goes into another fairway. Question for you, do you like it when you get to a hole, par four, where it's not a driver? No, I do. Do you I not? I hate it. Really? Like driver only for me. Wow. I like it when you get to a hole, it's like a bit more of a thinking hole. That's probably why I don't like it. <laughs> I like it in me big stick mm. hits down. Mm, boom, boom, bang. <laughs> right, come on then. Bounds. What are you going to go three? I'm going to go three wood, kind of, yeah, just hit it like it would be a driver, but it should obviously go not as far because it's a three wood. Other breaking news. Water wet. Golf shot, bloody hell, guy. Bloody Nora. Be honest now. You should be on tour. Yeah, that shot, yeah. that shot, on, <laughs> in ice, everything else you ever seen, that shot in isolation was tour standard. You should be on tour right now. Wow. Quit and... I'm actually a bit concerned about myself. Like, what, like, look how it were pan and... I just, even if I carry myself like a tour pro, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird, isn't it? Oh my God. Right. <laughs> I want you to clip that line after 18 <laughs> holes. Okay. <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah, good point. Uh, not saying that I've, I don't think you'll continue it, but I won't just continue it. Right, same as you. Literally same shot as you. Stop drawing. Stop drawing. That Dude. looks nasty. <laughs> that was like it's gone behind the tree. Be honest. Should I quit golf forever? I want to stay employed, so no. But... <laughs> I'm not bothered if you do. <laughs> Why? No, I'm a joke. I'm just saying for you being on tour. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> no, you, you could be way. like a good net golfer. You can be like the nice seven handicapper at the golf club who gets it round occasionally. I think I'd need 15. <laughs> 15 handicap. <laughs> right. Interesting tee shot. I'm kind of blocked out by a tree. And all the bloody world. 
on the right, but nope, it went left. And I snap out of this mindset at the moment. I feel like things aren't going my way and I feel like I'm part responsible for that. Well, I'm all responsible for it, but even this lie is not. Anyway, great shots happen after terrible shots. Hold on to your hats. 134 yards. I've got to hit like a low punchy, drawy pitching wedge. And I'm really, I, really, I think I can do it. I kind of want to just catch it a tiny bit thin and just punch draw it. Keep it under this tree in front of me. Oh, it's not dry. Oh, it's almost there, that. That's, yeah, that's all right, that though. That is fine. I'm, re I'm actually really surprised that didn't draw. Yeah. I felt like I really though. got the right movement, but it just stayed out straight to the right. It's always hard to draw a wedge, to be fair, but I did feel like I could get that turning. Never mind. Pin high right. Okay, I got my ball. And I've got 108 yards to the flag. A little bit of wind helping. And I mean, just kind of the first cut of rough. So it's going to be probably quite hot with low spin. So that 108 shot in reality is probably more like a 90 yarder, really. So 50 degree, three quarter swing. Still commit to it. Give it that bit of speed through the bottom. Strike. Get down. That was such a good strike, but it just well, went too far. It sounded great, that. Yeah, it just came out so hot, that. It's hard in those distances to actually really kind of trust that it's not going to play one away. As I said, it probably played more like 90. You still want to swing it the one away number. It's hard to get that into your mind. Okay, nice leave after the shot from behind the tree. Pin high, putters out. Come on, I'm, I need to stop this hemorrhaging of bogeys at the moment. I need to... Look at picking up a par or two, steady the ship, and before we start even looking at birdies. Hit the flag. Where is my speed control today? <laughs> oh, where is the control? What I didn't realise when I put from over there, and I should have re read it from this side, it was actually quite a bit downhill from that put off the green. Stupid. Didn't analyse the situation. So this is now uphill, left to right. Oh, honestly, I'm really struggling with the speed. Like, I don't know if I, I don't know. I thought that was a really good speed put then. I think it's still on me. Yeah. Oh, bogey train. Choo choo. <laughs> fully, tickets. fully on it. <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> it's not nice. Is there refreshments on there? No. Now? Chewing gum on the seat, stinks a bit, sat near the toilet. You've got someone chatting on the phone next to you just constantly. Yeah. Well, I, I've done the, uh, the par train so far. That's not, that, it, it's that's nice. middle of the road. It is, it, it's pleasant. It's nice, family orientated, lots of nice people on there. You get a glass of water for free. But now comes the time, can I keep my ticket? Can I keep it? Of course can. Of course he can. The par chain. <laughs> I want to get on. Let me on. <laughs> one day, son. One day. Six hole. Par four. Really nice. I love it. Kind of tree look like. When the mature tree starts to kick in, it's really nice. It's a dog leg left. There's a bunker to kind of carry that's Shouldn't be too much hazards, but some kind of Himalayas, the rough Himalayas on the left. You see them? Yep. Where it's like just a lot of bumpy ground and a lot of long grass. Yes. Which is not ideal. So slightly right. Guy's gonna go three wood. Shot. Like that. Absolutely perfect. I am a bit worried about how good I'm hitting it. Because it can't last forever, that? can it? Can't picture a shot shape. I think it's a cut. I think it's a cut, but left of what ended on those the right of the Christmas trees. Okay. Hard cut. Yeah. Not that hard. Won't be as bad as it looks. That. See, it's fine. This one of them holes, though, I think were. Although I'm, on paper a draw should be the shot, I can see a draw actually getting them hit, you know, coming up shorter than you think. Yeah. And then you, 
I was a cut, you were always getting away from the tr trouble. Yeah, I just didn't quite commit to it. Okay, weird tee shot that. I've hit drive and I've really cut it hard and it's finished here. I mean, guy hit three wood to there. I really need to hit a kind of a chasey draw, but I didn't get it with the driver. 155 yards to that pin. I looked at that pin position earlier and it's really tucked in the right corner of the green. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for a full nine iron and just try and draw it off the pin. I need to just get, get something going here. I need a little six foot birdie opportunity and sink it just to steady the ship. I feel, I feel like I'm very much on this bogey train. I need to get off it. Straight at the flag, nine iron, little draw. Bit the right distance. Don't go too big. Back oh. left. Back of the green? Yeah. Might have just hung on, but... It's quite hard to get close to some flags if you're not in the right position. I mean, hitting a good driver down there, I should have been flicking in a sand wedge, but leaving myself 155 yards is not the way to try and make birdies around here. Okay, so another great three-wood from me. I don't know what's going on with my driving off the tee, but I'm not complaining. Got 131 to the pin, and other than this bunker, which is kind of just in front of us, really, there's, there's not a lot of kind of danger. So there's no excuses here. This should be quite a close... Well, it should go close. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Come on. Nice wedge. Committed. Oh, it's a bit pulley. Get down. Pulley and long. Oh, it's, oh, okay. it's all right. Oh, it's, it's one of them weird shots that it's like not terrible, but not very good either. Very average, very vanilla, very beige. Okay, so just off the back of the green, um, luckily it dug its teeth in because it could have easily got into a little sticky situation here at the back, but luckily. We hung on. I feel like that's what I'm doing to this round of golf at the moment, hanging on. <laughs> so come on. I need, I need some fire in my belly. Go a bit. I actually yeah. think it's impossible to get a tapping par around here. You've got to fight for your par. <laughs> you really do. Now, thankfully, this is one I can see what it's going to do. Kind of uphill, it's going to come off the left and it's going to come round. So, out will be good, please, mate. Kind of within, near Rick's marker. Just let it almost fade to the hole. Come on. I'm gonna stay dead straight. I didn't see that going left to right. You know, what did you see it doing? I just saw that, this seems very high. I could see that coming like this though, here. Great for speed. Oh, great for speed. I feel like I really need this one. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Rick Shields made a par. Do, 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 do. Made a par. Oh, the train has stopped. And I've managed to get on board. And I'm concerned you've taken my ticket. That's what's worrying me now. <laughs> Don't because, where's my ticket? I nicked out your back pocket. <laughs> this is a little slimy little lizard that wants to go down here. And I'm not going to allow it going in there. Send it home. Car train. I, I've got, I don't feel like I'm fully on it yet. No. You are in, you've got your own carriage. You are luxury. It's got, you, it, above your seat it says reserved for Guy Charnock. It does, and that ain't for changing me, soon. I've kind of snuck on. Yeah. I've not been caught by the ticket officer yet. Have and you I'm, actually got a ticket? And I've definitely not got a seat. <laughs> That's for sure. We need a few more pars to get a seat. Par three, 166 yards. Slightly down breeze, pins tucked right in that, just that little pocket, just over that bunker. Eight irons? Eight irons. Come on, we need, for, nobody came here to watch pars and bogeys. Nobody, not one of you, I know that. I, right? I know that for a fact. I'm happy with pars. You want to see birdies. So let's get, let's deliver. Okay, right, eight irons the club. It's a committed one, it's a full one. You are striking it nice today, mate. I think that's pin high. I can't have it a bit short though. Strike was great again. Is it full? Yeah. I'm just gonna go straight at it. Come on, I need I need a good strike just to build this confidence. Aye. Straighten up. I 
Uh, two on the green, but nothing outstanding. Not horrendous, but not great from there. Guys, he's got a nice chance for birdies, half the distance than I am. This has got a big swing left to right on it. Come on, Shields. Why has that not got there? Uh, I honestly thought that was absolutely plenty of speed. <laughs> I'm a bit confused at the moment. I, I, as soon as I hit that, I thought, yeah, that's really nice. Six foot short? Like, what the hell? I got a bit of a line off Ricks, but not maybe quite as much as I was hoping for. <laughs> He'll hit it two thirds of the way. Can I have it out, please? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I know it's off the left. I don't quite know the pace, but come on. Let's just drop one. Oh, that was a... No, no it wasn't. Because that was good is, pace. Is it back that... uphill or something? I'm very confused about these greens right now. They roll nice. They do. Well, I can't understand if... Genuinely can't understand why mine didn't get there then. Is this uphill? Might be a fraction, you know. Oh, he's on that train, he ain't coming off. <sighs> I'm grabbing on for dear life. <laughs> oh, side door. It's in. You're well and truly on it. I don't think there's any sign of it getting off. My only concern is that I'm going to make pars for the rest of my life. <laughs> if you make pars for the rest of your life, I'd be amazed. Eighth hole. <laughs> you guys just read, reading our books. Yeah. <laughs> Why does starting on the 10th hole make it so confusing? Oh, it's really it's, weird. Anyway. You're going delirious as well. You're going to do it, Lally. I'm, uh, yeah. I need to snap out of this. Um, mm. Eighth hole, par five. I'm three over, guys level par. Par five, eighth hole. <laughs> Just hit, let's go. That. Straight down. I can't, it's a bit of a blind tee shot and I can't quite remember what it does after that. I've, in fact, I do, it's left of the big tree. You want to go left of it, or the Not really. Is. Straight out the big tree is perfect. And then I think the green is left of that big tree. Okay. Like, perfect. Could not be any better. If you want to uh, sponsor Guy Charnock to go on tour. I actually think this is how live. I'll be honest. <laughs> They'll pay me $10 million to join. And I'll come last every week to 85, 85, 85. But I'll be living a great life, so you've got to respect that. Spend more time with your family. <laughs> yeah. Right. At that big tree as well, that was really good, that drive. Oh, he's played one. Yeah, that's a nice hit, that. Very good. Should be all right. Yeah, nice. OK, so we've got to our tee shots. Rick is literally position A in the fairway. I'm level with him in kind of in this first cut, but actually, because of the hook club I'm going to hit in, it's almost a little bit like having a tee, which I'm not complaining about whatsoever. So it's 220 to the back of the green. I can't quite see where the flag is. There's bunkers at about 160, so the main aim is get over them, get past them. And there's quite a lot of wind helping us. We've noticed about 220 yards-ish. I actually think four iron's the club. So it's a nice committed four iron over that middle bunker. Oh, it's up the toe. Mm, not great. Okay, similar distance to Guy, 214, four iron, straight at it. Um, I can see the green on the right. And from memory, the green kind of goes like this, like fr front, like back left. I need to commit to a shape. I feel like at that bunker in the distance with a draw and just try and chase it back there. Oh, I've followed you. Get over it. It'll be fine. I think it might actually be okay down there. According to the course planner, it's like a bit of a funnel. Is it? So I feel like as long as they've not gone too far, yeah, this the... area kind of around here, I think we should be about there. So we've got good news and we've got bad news. Bad news first, this lie's not fantastic and this shot is going to be very hard. The good news is it's a par five and I'm here for two. So just getting this on the green or something close and then two puts gets us the par keeps on that par train, which let's be honest, it's all, it's all it's about at the minute. But I can't quite work out whether to try and flop this, a bit almost like a bunker shot. Do I bounce it into the bank, let it feed in? Not really sure. Um, 
I'll go for like a bunker shot. Oh, I don't know. Can't commit. Let me have a practice swing, sorry. Yeah, okay. Bunker shot it is. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Really Made nice. the right choice. Okay, so found mine too. I mean, if it was just a yard further ahead, I'm probably putting it every day. But I'm in this little fringy rough. It sat down. Hmm, interesting. I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it as a similar, like a bit of a bunker shot really. Let the club slide underneath it. Bite hard. Thing is, with that, I needed speed. I think what you've almost got to really trust it's a bunker shot. Yeah. Because it was if you kind of get. I feel like I needed speed to get it out of that bit of rough. If I went too delicate, I could imagine it just popping on Such the hill a hard and, shot. and coming back down. But we're You're up safe. on the green. Put for birdie. So annoying when you look back at the green. I wish I could hit that four iron shot again. No. You'd play it so differently. Up here, innit? I didn't just, know that was like, there either. You get a draw into that, into that front section. It could easily get round here. It's my, my first legitimate look at a birdie. So I shouldn't sniff at it, but I feel also after my great tee shot, I should be a lot closer than this for my birdie on this par five. But stranger things have happened. Sink one of these. You know I'm a bat nine player. Turn it on then. Got a chance if it stays up. No. Good effort. <sighs> hey, look, you've got Damn. a bar. Well, let's not count our chickens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in for par. <sighs> felt like I left, let one go there. I could have been the first legit birdie. Come on. This is guy. the first one today I've felt. I can see the line, I know the pace. I really Dropper can in. feel it. Everyone's waiting for some birdie sauce. Let's go under par as well. It's a big putt, but I can feel it. Oh, it was always low. That oh. was weak and pathetic. But you know, like, once one of us knocks a birdie in, the floodgates. But open. having said that, I like the idea that all my scores are in par. Something yep. nice in it, it's like clean. I don't want a birdie to ruin it. So <laughs> Remember my, my round at King's Barnes that time? Yes, exactly. And I made birdie on like 15 and then made buddy bogey on the last. Right, so ninth hole, which is the golf course is 18th. Slight dog leg left. It's got like a square green this, but it looks flat there. It's not flat, believe me. In fact, it's a better representation. It's very, very moundy and bumpy and hilly. Um, off this tee today, playing 436 yards. So nice, just a little, little drawer off that bunker guy or, or at the bunker that you can almost see in the, the other one on the left. left. Wow, in between them two is good. Okay, I'm going to cut it then off the left one. That's the shot of the day for me, a little buttercup. Really hitting that well. It's a three yard draw, but absolutely perfect. Absolute. I reckon it's the best we've ever seen hit it today. I think it is. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Okay, yeah, match that. I'm gonna just try and hit a little draw off that as well. Oh, that's money. That is Rick Shields at his best, that. That's a slinging draw. Yeah, that's huge. Hopefully that yeah. stayed on the fairway. That's, that's, that's nice. That was nice. Give him that one. One, six, seven. It doesn't look that far, does it? Doesn't it? No, it really doesn't, actually. So if you strike an eight, it's the club. Yeah. I thought seven would go too far. I think seven's well too much. Oh, don't turn, don't turn, don't ah. turn. Not too bad, not too bad. Pin eye. Right, club. Isn't that gone long? Right, I've got 156, and I'm going to go for a nine iron, and I'm going to go a committed golf swing over that bunker, little touch of draw. Get up. Get up. It's all right. Yeah, it's on. It's on a lot there. of like shots of it today that are just like. Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with it. Nothing them. amazing and nothing terrible. Just kind of all right. Rick, when I've hit this, I want to mark it out with 10. Okay. Okay. I'll just pick it out of the hole. Oh, wow. 
Got to go, I feel. Oh no, that's really bad. Four. Yeah. I got, you know what? I got scared because after the hole, it massively goes again. Ah, guy. The par run could be over. I was actually disappointed with my shot from the fairway, but it just shows the importance of being pin high. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually all right here. I've managed to get it on the top tier. Just across the green. Barely flat. It's just going to break a fraction to the, well, could go either way. I think it's pretty straight, this putt. If it goes too far left, it's going to go left down the bank. This pin's almost on the top of a crescent. Come on. That's got to go as well. It's going. It's going. Yeah, good putt. Uh, it's all right, that. I just, you, like you said, as soon as it was hit, it just didn't seem like it was going to get there. It rolled up nicely, though. That was a lag. Come on, guy. Nobody wants to see you stop making pars. Oh. This is the first time I've ever played the Grove not part of hole. <laughs> <laughs> the lifetime pass. Well, no made a bogey at Augusta either, so that's good. Yeah, yeah well done, mate. Oh. Well done. I don't like making bogeys. It's not something I do very often. Good front but... nine, though. One over, three over, sausage roll time. Look at this. Hello. You okay? Good, thank you. Do you do sausage rolls at all? Perfect. How many would we like? Sausage rolls? How many? Five, please. So, <laughs> it's the first day of my sausage roll diet. I'm gonna go five sausage rolls. <laughs> Not really, you can put the lads oh. right. Let's see what we got. Is, it, is this a new theme? It's like wrapped. Packaging, I like it. Packaging. What's it say? Oh, Ooh. wowzers. <laughs> oh, no. That's, that's the first thing we'll That's a bit nice. How do you think that's on it? Pepper? Maybe? It's like a... What do you think it's on it? No. Like Choc seeds. I think it... Seeds. You know what I think it is? Seeds. I actually think it might be chocolate chips. <laughs> You're right. Just give it a go. The wrong, just slightly no wrong sauce. shape. sauce? I never go sauce for first bite. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow, it fell off a bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Spicy. Spicy? All right. It's got a little kick to that. Mm. Very nice. Nine out of ten. Well done, Grove. <laughs> just to make the back nine a little bit more interesting. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Bat nine. You've got the honour. Well, yeah. For the first time in a while. In a while. Let's hope I don't lose it. Uh, I'm currently three over par. Guys, one over par. Um, the par of this golf course is 72. Nice. So on I track. need to be under par bat nine. Yeah. You are well and truly on track. Yep. Uh, par four is a slight dog leg left, 351 yards. It's probably not driver. But to be honest, after a sit down sausage roll and a beer, it's driver every day. <laughs> oh, that beer was the wrong shout. <laughs> Every time after the beer. Yeah. Safe enough. It's a long way shot right. in. Not the shot shape for a dog leg left. <sighs> Silly shot. If you watch the break 75s before that I've played in, you know, I'm not a bogey guy. I come into it pars and birdies. <laughs> Cats <laughs> on a straight face. <laughs> okay, nice cut over the trap. Oh. Oh. Might be in the trap. Yeah. It's weird. That looked like I'd carry that easy. Well, like it was still going up as it was going over the bunkers. I must admit, I mean, just look at this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. It's such a nice venue. It's, um, I like this little touch as well where this is the first tee. You've got the putting green almost blends into the first tee. As we mentioned before, there's the Rose Ladies series on today. They've been out there. They've been shooting some good scores, actually. Um, I definitely wouldn't, neither of us, well, Guy might have a chance, but neither of us would be uh, on the leaderboard there. Right, big bat nine to go, all right? Yes, come on, we can do it. Big bat nine. Well, I think I'm actually okay if that's a ball. Yeah, what, 252 yards left in? 
on a 351 yard hole. <laughs> that driving shot that technically didn't go 200 yards. So I went slightly the wrong way here, but never mind. In, into a little bit of breeze. I'm gonna just chip an eight iron straight at it. That'll be phenomenal. I wanted to leave myself a full shot in. <laughs> very, very happy with that drive. Not only did I miss the bunker, but I'm on this little bit of fairway as well. But 88 yards to the flag. To be honest, anything inside Rick's would be an awesome golf shot. Rick's really a good one there. So 88 yards, Sam Wedge can here to here. Nice strike. Oh, it's a bit cutty. Get up. Oh, that's not very good. No, it's not great from there really, but two put par is on the cards. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> a good shot into a green and a real, real look at birdie. First up though, Guy. Get back on that uh, par train. Nope. Well, that's fell away the opposite way. Right, come on, Fields. Down the hill. Right to left, the little slippery one. Oh, Rick. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there's no way I could actually leave that short. It was like there was blue tack on the poor face. <laughs> <laughs> like you had the head cover on. <sighs> that defied gravity. You know what it is? Legs are sore. Legs. You're and right. You, and you played Augusta, so fast yeah. greens. Oh, yeah, do you know what I mean? Couple of fat. Have another go, come on. Before I, <laughs> have another go, come on. Oh my god, what is wrong? That's because I've got there. I'll get you, let you go. That's got there. It's a weird putt. Doesn't matter. Forget it. Doesn't matter. Oh, silly boy. Right, this has got a little bit of swing on it for a little shorty. Yeah, yep. well done, mate. Well done. Oh, oh what a hash. <laughs> I'm, I'm, honestly, what have I just but, done to be honest there? though, I thought your second putt was the same. That did get there, so it is a What have fast... I just done there? I thought it was going to be absolutely rapid. This is where you hold it easy now. Textbook. Da -da -da. In the hole. Thanks for coming. See you later. Oh no. It's a hard putt. Well, I'm happier now that I've had three attempts. Because now... Go in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel happier now, because if I had three attempts and not hold it, there's no chance I would have held it the first time. Thanks, pal. However, I hope that's not my only clear-cut birdie opportunity on this back nine. So I need to make some birds. I need to make plenty of birdies. 11th hole, downhill, pretty much dead straight, but doesn't mean it's easy. Slightly into breeze. Bunkers, from memory, left and right, a really good tee shot is required. Uh, some cranes in the distance doing some work, so just left of them is perfect. Oh, sh get down. It's all right. Don't hit the path. Oh, it takes me at the path. Oh. oh, my days. When you say don't hit the path, well, there's no way it'll hit the path. Did I hit the path? Literally hit the path perfectly. I don't think there's that much trouble over there, it's just not. Not where I wanted to be. <laughs> Honestly, I've not seen you hit it this good for a long time. Oh, thank you. Weird, isn't it? Because sometimes it just feels easy. Other times it feels so, so hard. Today's so far been a good day and I'm really enjoying it. Just drop something, guy. What? It's so hard. Okay, after a terrible tee shot, really bad. Should have stuck with trying to hit that draw. I'm 159 yards to the middle. Not particularly pulled a great lie. There's quite a lot of grass behind the ball. And it's into wind. I'm going like chip a seven iron. Should be phenomenal. Tell me it's good. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Don't know how I've just done that, but I've put it to about 10 foot. Happy days. 
Okay, what a shot from Rick. I couldn't quite see his actual shot. I can see the result and it's very, very good. 144, wind kind of into the face. Three quarter nine iron. Love to get this one close. I have the number, might be a bit short. Oh. Guy. That looked all over it and it's about 15, 20 foot yards short. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Needing to hit some good shots. It's pitched pretty much next to it. Stopped on a dime and we've got a nice uphill right to left, which I am not going to leave short. I promise you now, okay? <laughs> that was annoying. That shot from when I hit it looked all over it and it was just never enough club. But I've got what feels like it should be quite a nice golf shot, nice turf, 58 degree, land it on the green, roll it close. This should be, should be an easy golf shot. Bite hard. No. What if I strike there, mate? No, I caught it wrong, basically. Ah, that's annoying. Right. Big, big putt. Not to overhype this, <laughs> or put more emphasis on this, but I feel like this is super important. Come on. This looks like a really nice line. Oh my word, that was close. How did that not go in? How did that not go in? Oh man, I didn't leave it short, it was a nice speed. Oh God, that hurts. I might not get two better chances than that. Ah! This is a huge putt for my par. You didn't leave it short. Guy. What happened? Guy. I don't know what happened. I that was can't. a mental block. I just can't today. I feel like my ball striking is literally the best I've ever probably hit it, which is crazy. But putting, I just can't seem to, I don't know what it is. I just can't, I can't do it. Oh, come on. It's a huge putt now, it's even a bigger putt. No. Wow. Wow. That's a shame. That's a real shame. <sighs> oh. I, oh, I don't know. Don't know. Isn't golf cruel? Isn't golf cruel? It's not fair. But either way, we're both now plus three. <laughs> Twelfth hole, par four. Beautiful hole, bunker on the left. A little bit of a ditch running around the right hand side and then big water hazard in front of the green before you approach on. Good drive needed. Got to step up there and hit the middle of the fairway, ideally. I'm going to go back to my draw. I'm not feeling my fade today. Shot. Hey there. Should be okay. Yeah. Nice. Let's go over the bunker. Oh, yeah, nice. it's in a pretty good spot now, actually. It's weird. I've been really liking my fade recently with my driver, but today I'm just feeling like the fade is too big. Okay, so I'm going to whack the bunkers and just fade it off them. Or draw it over them. Carry the last one. That's the going left of it. It's yeah, alright. That's fine. I'm not getting my fade, but it's fine. Right, after a brilliant tee shot, I literally ripped it down this hole with a little tight draw. I found myself in an old divot. Now, it's not horrendous but it's still an old divot. Ugh. Anyway, let's hope the golf gods reward me with another birdie opportunity. 
back right pin, 154 yards. I'm going to try and really muscle a nine iron there. I feel like it's going to come out a little bit lower out of this uh, divot. Oh, be phenomenal. Be phenomenal. Go! Yeah, good effort. I probably needed eight iron, but I just felt like that flow of flight, I might have been able to get there with nine. Never mind, we're on the green, putting for birdie. So this is quite a pivotal point in my round where it's easy to get your head down, and I'm a culprit of this because I've had a bad hole then. But I was just thinking I'd walk down on my own, thinking about what I've just done. And actually, it's just silly mistakes. It was a silly nine iron into that green, and it was obviously a bad chip and then bad putt. So I have to remember I'm playing well today. What I can't do now is ruin all that hard work on the front nine and then just blow up. I'm not going to allow it to happen. So positive mindset, keep the mistakes to a minimum. Got about 155-ish. Kind of similar line into Rick. 9-9 nine, nine out this rough. It's going to come off the left to right. Slight fade because of the stance. Get back there. Get up. It's okay. Yep, that's fine, it's mate. It's okay. Two long-range putts here. Up the hill, pins back left, uh, back right, sorry, on a little ledge. Some very quirky little pin positions out here today. Come on, up the hill. It's going to swing then to the left as it goes over the brow. Two put is the goal. One put is the dream. Even got a Range Rover filming us. Slow, steady. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh. I missed the two little tiddlers on the last two holes and then hold it from downtown. That's not what I thought would be the first birdie of the round. <laughs> So, not a bad putt, but looks terrible compared to your effort. <laughs> Great for speed, pal. You know what I want? I'm not going to do this, but you know what I want to do? Snap my putt. Snappy yeah. putter. I really would. I do think you should. I'd get a little bit of satisfaction. I think you should. No, I'm not. It, I can't. It, it, you've had it for a long time now. I have had it for a long time. Snap nah, fit, no joking, no snap it. Is that his last legs? Oh, right, well. This isn't fair. Okay, 13th hole, par three, beautiful looking holes. The stream just in front of the green. Pin is literally like three yards over the stream. The pin is playing 154 yards. To carry the water, it's 150. There's a tiny bit of wind helping. I'm right between clubs. I'm right between a nine and an eight iron. I've got nine in my hand, but I've got the privilege of seeing what you do first. I think if I go eight, I feel like I can, I'll, fair, I'll like hit it too soft. I'll go nine then and whack it. Yeah, I'm gonna go nine between the flag and the red stake. And if it draws a bit, I think it'll get up. Come on. Oh no, wet. <sighs> Is that the strike? No, I struck it awful. Damn. Just struck it awful. Now, I might live to regret this, but I'm still going to go nine. I just, I think if I hit it well, it gets there. And I've got to be confident. I've been in it well all day. Go! That might be short of the pond. So mine, luckily, well, say luckily, yeah, luckily finished short, but my shot is horrendous. Lies not great. Rick went into the hazard, so you have to drop and hit his third. And it's going to be some very articulate, executed wedge shots. I'm going to have to... Oh my God, this is, yeah. This, this is could not be, where we want it to This be. could be like one of those ends up going viral where like amateur golfer hits 10 shots in pond kind of vibe because it's quite a scary golf shot. Hit the flag. I was always oh. going long, I was always going big. Okay, so I dropped my, I hit mine in the water, so I've come back 
and taking a drop from here, come a bit further back to get a fuller shot in. Get lucky. Okay, that's not a bad lie. Right. <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm gonna go for it, because why not, eh? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I'm gonna send it up to space and try and get it to stop really quick. Ah, it's over the water. So that's my third shot I'll be putting for bogey, and it's a long way away. Okay, so this is a big putt for par. No. There's nothing's got a chance at all. Everything's just like... So, after my 9-9 in the water, my drop, my wedge on, this is for a bogey. Now, <laughs> talk about a letdown after my nice birdie on the last, but if I can knock this in, the dream stays alive. If I don't, it's gonna be a challenge to break 75 today. This feels like it really needs to go in uphill, big swinging right to left putt. Not hit it. Might get there. I actually thought it was going to swing a lot more than what it did. Ah, that is schoolboy error on that hole. Double bogey five. Ouch. Oh. Right, come on. How many holes left to go? Five to go. Still a chance. You're on trap for eight. Easy well, I want to break 80, 80, which I was well on track for, but level par through eight holes, now I'm five over. But it's fine. There's two um, par fives to come. Two par fives to come. Life's good. Right. Come on. Okay. We need, we need a little reset. Reset. Um, I'm five over, Rick's four over. New beginnings. Kind of having a secret little battle between us, or I'm having a battle with Rick. He's definitely in the battle as well. That 10 is not, but he's dying to beat me. And he should beat me. He's better than me. No pressure. He should beat me. We've got two par fives coming up. This is a quite a long par four, 436 yards. It's a par five, three, four, five. So come on. This is lovely. A little cut. Start just up those bunkers. Great drive. She's back. That was a very good drive. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna try and draw it on that left side of the fairway. Longest two. drive. You have tonked that to be fair. Bottom groove, but it should work. Stop drawing. Stop drawing. Great shot, Rick. I think Nailed. it's just got lucky. Longest, Generous bounce. Long, true longest drive then, holding oh, it. Oh, no, I hit that terrible. <laughs> really bad. So 190 into the pin here. It's a really interesting green, this. From memory, it's got a false front and a massive drop off over the back of the green. A pin high is absolutely essential. Slightly to the right of, of the pin, pin high would be perfect. That could be good. Get back there. Get back there. Yeah, nice shot. That's very professional. Yeah, pin high to the right. Very good. What the doctor ordered. 175. I'm gonna basically hit the shot that Rick hit, hopefully. And put it pin high. Oh, it's fat. Needs to go. Go! Get past that bunker. Get up! Oh, no, it deserves to be. That was a bad golf shot. That was hit very heavy. Right. Okay, so I've missed the bunker. It's kind of held up short, which at first I was happy about, but actually now on reflection, it's quite a tough lie. There's a load of grass behind the ball. It's a very difficult shot, this. And I, I don't know if I'd actually rather have been in the bunker. It might sound crazy, but it probably would have been an easier shot. Oh, another yard. Not bad, not bad. Okay, after a very, I might even say myself, a professional golf shot from the fairway, I've got this putt for three, birdie three, up the hill, left to right. Again, I'm not expecting miracles, but you never know. You never bloody know. It's it. Had the line, really had the line there. Yep. It's one of those points where you're like, it's all right, if I just knock it close, it's fine. But then you start seeing it tracking and it's starting to go to the hole, you think, ah, what could have been? 
Come on, guy. You deserve some it. putts today. I need it. You deserve it. something to drop. Oh, I thought that was in all the way. Oh my God. Why? What's happening? I think one of the things with these, these greens, <sighs> and not whether it's because they've had a row series here today, pins are in little tricky spots. If you get the wrong side, it makes it so much harder. Like my foot there was up the hill, straight up the hill, and it was much easier. Guys on that slope, it's, it's so much more challenging. Yeah. I honestly don't think I've ever genuinely now hit the ball as well and then put it as bad. I'd agree. It's insane. Par five. Our 15th hole. Really nice hole this. Gorgeous in fact. <clears throat> Good drive required. I'm gonna stick with my draw. Left side of the fairway is ideal. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get rid of the bunkers. Get away from the bunkers. Get away from the bunkers. Oh, a bit of a thinny one, but. That's fine. Left okay. side's good. That's actually perfect. Yeah, it's fine. Didn't hit it good, but. Okay, so I didn't go in the bunker. I was short of the bunker. I'm 272 yards away from the green. There's no chance I'm going for it. It's not sat nicely enough. It's into wind. And all the way down the left, there's a big pond. So anything going, if it's turning left, it's dead. So I'm going to try and play conservative. Two birdies needed with four holes left to go. And again, there's a par five here, par three up the hill, par four down the hill, par five to finish. So we, we need, this is the hole. We need to make birdie on this. Um, I'm going to hit one 180 and leave myself like 100, about, sorry, leave myself kind of around that 90 yards left into the green would be perfect. Oh my goodness. Well, I've missed the biggest fairway on the planet. <laughs> I'm in the right rough and I'm probably about 120 yards left in. Oh my goodness, that was miles off. <laughs> Okay, I've got about 270 to the pin-ish. It's a long way. I'm gonna try and hit a three wood and just advance it as far down there as I can go. It won't go to the green this, I don't believe, but well, it definitely won't. Let's get it down there. It's got a chase. Yeah, it's pretty good. Couldn't quite get that there, but I'll take that one. Okay, third shot after a very scrappy layup. I've left myself the right distance. I'm 95 yards to the flag. I'm in the rough. Luckily, I've had a nice lie. But the pin's very much at the front, so I'm gonna have to go aerial and just get it to stop quick. Come on, I've gotta be putting this within six feet. It's not there. Big bounce. Just like went up the face. Ah, that is really, really, really disappointing. This is a delicate shot. <laughs> My three-wood was really good, but I was never going to get to the green. Got this nice kind of pitch, I say nice, got this pitch to the flag, the bunker starts to open up here. So I have to be sensible and go right of it. I can't try and go for the flag and duff it into that bunker. That would be a schoolboy error. So right side of the green, try to leave myself like a 10-foot, sorry, right side of the flag, leave myself like a 10-footer for birdie, hopefully. Kind of got a bit lucky with that. I'm off the green putting for birdie. And to be honest with you, I actually really like the look of this putt. There's not a lot in it. It's pretty pretty flat all the way. Speed is just gonna be the determining factor and hopefully we can get a bit lucky. Need to box one. Come on. Stay on line. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I gave it a chance, but it just kind of always going left on me. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Run out of holes. Come on, guy. This is a real, real chance of birdie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not expecting to hold this. Let's you be are. Honest. Come on. Ah, come on. Think back. Think one. back of positive times when you ho used to hold the world. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Finally. 
Right, Ooh, three that. to go. Okay, hole number 16, I believe. Yeah. Par three looks really nice. There's a BMW there for today's competition. Unfortunately, we don't win that if we get a hole in one. But Rick said he'd buy me a nice, probably, nice Audi Q5, RS Q5. Mm, I think I said a... Um, Mercedes? Fiat Punto. Fiat Punto. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> 157, bit of wind behind. In my head, I want to hit nine iron. We've both been under clubbing today a bit, so I'm going eight iron. Um, yeah, I'm joining you with eight. Yeah, okay. Let's get Come one on, close. three to go. We need, I need birdies. You could pick up a, a couple. I would like them. I'll never refuse a birdie, Rick. Lost it. Not a clue. Oh, yeah. Oh, a bit big. Oh, is it? Yeah. On it, though, or like... Left and a bit big. It's a little bit thin. I don't know if it added a bit to the... Ah, that's really messing my head now for distance. I do think it... it, it, it I just need to hit a now. controlled one. I know how to hit a controlled eight. So just do it, Shields. A little three-quarter eight. I've lost that again. Felt nice. Oh, that's... Oh, that looks all right, that. Yeah, it's nice. Middle of the green. Wouldn't be too bad at all, that. I think that's pin-eye on that top shelf, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that should be good. For mine to come through the green into this quite nasty, thick, juicy stuff. To the chip it out onto the green, let it hopefully roll down. But this is quite a tough shot, I'll be honest. Ah, oh, that's bad, but we might get away with it. Stop. Oh my word. That was, I wouldn't have liked that shot, personally. You played that really well, pal. Right, I'm faced with this for a birdie. It's been a weird day today. The goal's been very, very un, un, kind of, I don't know, complicated, is that the right word? Confusing. I'm currently four over. I could be 10 worse than that but i also feel like i could be five or six shots better than that so it's probably where i should be to be honest with you left to right oh it took a bounce <sighs> it's not if i didn't get that quite online or it kind of took a little hop it did take a bounce on the pitch mark ah Need to birdie the last two. Oh, it's been a hard day for the putter today. Birdie followed by a bogey. That needs to go on the naughty step, that putter today. It really does. Two to go. Come on. 17th hole, par four, 400 yards, dog leg right, down the hill, beautiful finish. Come on. Two to go. Can do this. Two birdies. Or even a little cheeky Tiger Woods Eagle on the last to do a treat, the right treat. That is awful. Driving has been really bad today. Okay, well, that trap, cut it onto the uh, block of flats in the distance. Oh, I've drawn it. That's a bad one. That's a telly one. That was terrible, stay there. That's not ideal, but oh, okay. We've not exactly flourished this back nine. Okay, so this ball isn't in a very nice place whatsoever, and I've actually got quite a long ways to flag, so there's, there's no way I can hit this there. So actually I'm gonna chip out with a pitching wedge, try and kind of nudge it forward 80, 90, 100 yards, and then from there try and get it on the green. That's pretty good, I think. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay, second shot here into 17. It's a terrible shot. It's not where I want it to be. I want it to be way over there on the left. There's actually no trouble over here, thankfully. And I've gone so far right, I've avoided this massive bunker. 135 yards left in, slightly into breeze. Just coming out the rough. I'm gonna try and play like a little controlled nine iron. Come on, Rick, I need to get this close. We've got two more chances to make birdie. Gotta get one here. 
Come in. Come in. Be good for distance. Get closer. Yeah, all right. That's all, that's all right shot, that. That's okay. A little controlled one. I'd like to, I'd like to have been maybe a six inches away. Yes, granted, but we've got a look. We've got a look for birdie. Come on. Really, really want to shoot a good score today. Get it back after that terrible start. Okay, so I had to lay up then, obviously. So I've now got 66 yards to the pin. I think, in reality, breaking 80 is today's goal. I can make one more bogey and one more par. So this, this might, unfortunately, be that bogey. But fingers crossed, get this close. 66 yards, out of this first cut. Come on, nice swing. Get up. Okay, this is a big par put this. If I hold this, I have the luxury of being able to bogey 18 to break 80. If I miss this, I have to par 18 to break 80. Which feels not great after the way I've hit it today, but I'm always fairly happy to try and break 80 at a course I've not played before. Now it's low. Wow. Oh, I've, honestly, I've not seen you put like this before. No, I just don't feel good over it. I just don't know the line. I don't think my anything's good. That looks pretty much just dead straight down the hill. Come on, this and then birdie on the last. Didn't see it breaking. Why did I not see that breaking? Did I pull it? Oh, damn. Just went left straight away as well. Silly boy. Yeah, well tidied. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're last. You can what do the it. Hell? I really just didn't see that breaking. Okay, last hole. It's been an eventful round of golf today for me and Guy. Guy, you've got a pad last to break 80? Yes, and I am going to do it. And I've got <laughs> to eagle the last to shoot 74. Otherwise, a par is a measly 76. Come on, let's do it. Downwind. Just going to have to bomb a driver. Should be all right, but it's quite left. Should be all right. That if though. that's hit the path, though, oh, wow, <laughs> no, just, it might be left rough. Could be, might green. be a challenging uh, approach shot into that green. I went for it. I did. I needed to find fairway. Not sure if I. Oh, okay, nice big cut. Get it right down there. Oh, block it. Should be okay if it misses the trap. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. it didn't splash. But for a minute, I thought it was over him, and then I'm not sure if it was short of him. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm in the bunker, fairway bunker, about 250 yards to the flag. Part of me's thinking, hit like an eight iron out and then play as a proper three shotter. Part of me's thinking, hit three iron. In reality, for catch the nine quite clean and quite thin, it should be okay. So I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for it. Be brave. The sand's quite good. Not too much sand in these bunkers. Come out high, but happy with that really. It's got it's moved it down there anyway. Okay, so on the fairway there's four plaques and that's where Tiger all four of his drives when he made Eagle Eagle and Birdie. I'm left of that and surprisingly not as far as that. Um I'm 277 yards to the flag. Oh, it's a ridiculous long way. Wind's helping, granted. I've got to make eagle. I'm, I'm, uh, eagle does it, so I'm going to go three wood, try and get as close as I can. If I get on the front edge, I'd be delighted. But it's a bloody big hit. Well, let's hope I get a flyer out this rough. Sat quite nicely. I'm just going to have to just rip three wood at it. Come on. Eagle finish, dramatic finish. Just as Tiger would want me to do it. Oh, it's a toe. Go on, ball.
Go on, ball! I'm not, I'm not sure if it's on the green or 50 yards short. <laughs> it was like a toe, like a really toey, super high toe, drop kick draw chaser that I can't tell if it's on the green or 50 yards short. Okay, so that three iron, it did come out quite high and a bit weird, but it did exactly what I wanted it to do, which is perfect. We've got 108 yards to pin and a howling breeze behind. So it's a nice three quarter, 50 degree. Let's get this close. Get up. Can't see it. Can't quite tell. Has it gone? I think it's gone through the back. Oh. So there's me screaming at the top of my northern voice for the ball to get up and get on the green. Little did I know, it's about 30 yards short. But it had a good effort. If it would have got a miracle kick off this bank and it could have potentially got up there, but it's not, it's just here. Now, not been known for my dramatic chippings. But could this be, could this be the time? Sunshine and a little chippy, little cheeky chipping eagle on the last. Come on then, let's see if we can do it. I went for it, ladies and gentlemen. I did, <laughs> I played aggressive. I didn't want to be short. I wasn't really trying to spin it down that bank, but <sighs> damn. I thought that was going to be a great fight back. That double bogey on the 13th, that par three is going to really sting. Well, let's see if we can roll this one in for birdie. Okay, so I need to two putt for 79 and breaking 80. Um, this hasn't worked today. But thankfully, the longer clubs have been great. I give the best I've hit it, which is strange when I've shot not a great, great score. This thing might be getting replaced. Don't blame myself, blame the putter. But this is a snake, a real snake. Up this left side, feeding it back down. I have to put this close because I can't rely on myself to knock in a three or four footer. Okay, aiming at Rick's ball marker pretty much. It's always gonna be low, but get close. Yeah, that's good for speed, mate. A little bit of a knee knocker. Yep. Yeah, well done, mate. Well done. Not bad, pretty happy with that overall. 79. Right, to finish with a, a nice birdie. Down the hill, left to right. Wasn't quite my day today. But I ho hold this. 75 isn't too bad. Come on, drop, 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 drop. <sighs> well, awesome. Eventful. Thanks, pal. Appreciate well done, that. Mate. That was class. That was really good. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. 75 or 79. What could have been? Never mind. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>